Hello. My name is Mike Buer. In this brief presentation, I will show you an example of how electronic reconfigurable surfaces on the rim of a parabolic dish can be used to modify the gain pattern so as to mitigate interference in an application such as radio astronomy. This work has been done in collaboration with Dr. Steve Ellingson and is supported by the National Science Foundation. In our previous work, we've shown that by using electronic reconfigurable surfaces, or ERSs as they're sometimes called, on the rim of a parabolic dish antenna, pattern modification is possible. In particular, we've shown that side lobes in the gain pattern can be reduced or even nulled by modifying the phase of the scattered field from the dish using discrete valued weights on ERS elements placed on the rim of the dish. And in the next slide, we'll show how the gain pattern in the H-plane changes as an interfering source passes through the H-plane from 0 to 3 degrees using four airy weights. The dish is assumed to be 18 meters in diameter, where the outer one meter of the dish is equipped with ERS elements, where each element has a size of one half wavelength by one half wavelength at a frequency of 1.5 gigahertz. Now on this slide, there are two animations that you'll see. On the left side, we show the gain pattern of the H-plane from zero to three degrees as the interfering source travels through the pattern. On the right side, we plot the received power over time. Now by watching the right-hand plot, you can get a sense for, of where the source is in terms of its angular position over time. The source starts at zero degrees and ends at three degrees. So here we can see the pattern changing as the source moves through the main beam. Now as it moves through the main beam, the, there is insufficient power scattered by the rim of the dish to cancel that main lobe. But this is fine because we wouldn't want to cancel the main lobe anyway. Now as it approaches the edge of the main lobe, the pattern will naturally be able to null that interference. However, as we approach the first side lobe, in theory, there's sufficient power to null this first side lobe. But as it turns out, with four airy weights, we're unable to find the correct weights to perform the null here. So we can see that while the gain is reduced, it, it is not nulled. However, after this point, we can see that the search algorithm is able to find the weights to provide a very deep null at each point in the pattern. So the received power throughout the rest of the pattern, until at least three degrees as shown here, we're able to sufficiently reduce the gain in the desired direction. In conclusion, in this short presentation, we provided an example of pattern modification using rim loading with 2,756 2, ERS elements placed on the outer one meter of an 18 meter dish antenna. Using four area weights, nulls can be placed throughout the pattern with the exception of the main lobe and the first side lobe. However, it can be shown that with a larger number of discrete weights or a larger number of ERS elements, the first side lobe can also be nulled. This presentation is based on work supported in part by the National Science Foundation under grant AST 2128506. For more information, please see our website listed at the bottom of this slide.